Social Media Engagement Dashboard Social media has become an integral part of our lives, and businesses are leveraging it to reach out to their customers and create a brand identity. Twitter is one of the most popular social media platforms, and companies use it to engage with their audience, create buzz around their products or services, and get feedback from their customers. To analyze Twitter engagement metrics, companies can create a Twitter engagement dashboard in Power BI. Power BI is a business analytics tool that helps businesses analyze data and share insights. It allows businesses to connect to multiple data sources, clean and transform data, create visualizations, and share them with stakeholders. Creating a Twitter engagement dashboard in Power BI involves the following steps. To start creating the dashboard, you need to connect to the Twitter data. Create visualizations after cleaning and transforming the data. Select background color by orange so what we can do is we can start creating it with a banner. We can start creating it so if I just expand this by clicking there and click on the text box. Here I will just drag it up a little bit and type here social media engagement dashboard. Add slicers. Here, slicers allow users to select a specific time period and see how the metrics change. And change their colors also. Go to the slicer setting, select style from the drop down, then go to general, change the background color, and select black for both the background color and select orange color for font. And add one image over here. Add card is this right first thing first is basically your count of tweets and over here. The same copy paste for the impression rate engagement rate and media engagements. Simply drag and drop a tweet over here for the count. And then drag and drop and select this average for the impressions. And next drag and drop engagement rate and media engagement. Then add. Select a chart to show the same visuals as we have shown in data cards, which include count of tweets, average impressions, engagement rate, and media engagements. So for that, take one by one chart for analysis of tweets per date. Simply add one chart over here, drag and drop dates from data and tweets, go to general off the title of the X and Y axis, and go to default color, change that color. Same for average impressions, simply add one chart over here. Drag and drop dates from data and impressions, go to general, off the title of the X and Y axis, and go to default color to change that color. Same for engagement rate. Simply add one chart over here, drag and drop dates from the data, go to general off the title of the X and Y axis, and go to default color to change that color. Same for media engagements, simply add one chart over here, drag and drop dates from data and media engagements. Go to general off the title of the X and Y axis, and go to default color, change that color. Add one bar chart and select tweets from the data, selecting tweets for the Y axis and URLs for the X axis. After that, apply a filter to it by the top 10 and drag and drop the URL from the data and click on apply. Next, go to the visuals and the data labels. Increase the maximum area width. Off the X axis and change this bar's color also. Then add one bar chart for showing tweets by weekday. Take weekday and count of tweets, drag and drop and change this bar's color also dot for media engagement and media views by day. Take one chart and simply drag and drop for the x-axis a date and for the y-axis media engagements and media views. And change bar colors also. Publish the dashboard after creating the dashboard. You can publish it to the Power BI service. 